Hi, this is Sam here with the US Chart Breakers here at Zach's Traders Cafe for Tuesday, the 13th of February. Starting off with the S&P, which is still making uh, progress within that rising trend channel from back in October. It's unbelievably steep, and so we would expect a retracement at some point. The favoured area would be 49.30 or so, which is the floor of the channel. On the upside, we're looking for as high as 51.80 by the end of next month at the uh, price channel top. Uh, in between current levels and 49.30, probably the old resistance on the way up, 49.70.80 could be a potential support zone. Moving on to the stocks, and uh, we start off with Airbnb, and uh, here you can see that uh, the market is uh, making progress, or which hopefully will make progress, within a rising trend channel uh, from back in uh, the uh, summer of last year. Uh, as you can see here, the channel uh, heading towards $190. We're looking for that maybe um, by the end of March. Uh, that might be pushing it, I suppose, at this stage, but uh, maybe by the end of March, uh, as long as we build on uh, the latest rebound off the floor of the channel uh, towards the uh, $145. And the more time spent above $150, the better in terms of that $190 target. Moving along to a stock where we had... Uh, uh, a modest target, as it turns out, at uh, Beamer Imaging. Uh, you can see, well, maybe you can't see, actually. We have got a, we had a rising trend channel that uh, was uh, drawn uh, at the turn of the year. At the top of the channel there was uh, up towards the $3 area, and we we're looking for $3, why, basically, while we were holding above the $1.80 area, backed by the uh, progress at and above the rising 50-day line. Obviously, we would rather surpass that, and... Uh, the situation now is that um, hoping that the shares will at least hold that old spike uh, from basically back in May last year around the $8 mark. That's about all we've really got to go on at the moment, apart from obviously that massive uh, spike in the shares towards uh, the $35 area, but at least the charting worked there. The charting has also worked at uh, the next stock, which is uh, CleanSpark. And uh, here you can see that we've got progress within a rising trend channel. Uh, we had these uh, unfilled uh, gaps to the upside, which have done the trick in terms of uh, getting us the big rally here. In fact, the first one really quite significant there at the end of January. Since then, uh, progress within a rising trend channel from back in October. Target here towards $19, which we're looking for by the end of this month, while we remain above the old resistance around $13.50. Moving on to a stock which is obviously in vogue at the moment, uh, given the way that uh, Bitcoin is around the $50,000 mark. A couple of uh, unfilled gaps to the upside was a bear trap gap reversal for February, and uh, that suggests that uh, we could head up to the top of that rising trend channel from back uh, in uh, the summer of last year. Top of that channel, currently heading towards as high as uh, $2.00. $210, and uh, we're looking for that while we hold above recent neckline resistance around the uh, $138 mark. Hopefully, uh, $200 plus could be seen as soon as the end of next month, a four- to six-week time frame. Another stock which is uh, certainly on the move at the moment is coming up next, uh, uh, Simma Bay, and uh, here you can see that uh, we've... Uh, hit uh, well there were two things you can see actually first is that uh, we exceeded the old targets there around uh, 12 13 dollars back in the summer since then we've had progress within a rising trend channel top of that channel is actually where the shares have uh, currently settled at 32 dollars if we can hold above the 30 dollar area then we're looking for up to 40 dollars by the end of next month they, obviously the only problem at the moment is that uh, the gap was way above old resistance at around $26, uh, so uh, slightly up in the air, uh, literally at the moment, as far as uh, Simma Bay is concerned. Moving on to another interesting situation, which uh, comes in the form of um, Diamondback, and uh, here, a rising trend channel in place since uh, the end of June. Gap higher through uh, neckline resistance there, around $161. The longer we stay above that, the greater the chance of a move up towards the top of that rising trend channel as high as uh, $183 by the end of next month. Uh, we have uh, more excitement in terms of charting with the next stock, and uh, here you can see that uh, Emphase Energy is uh, on the move, a rising trend channel base, and uh, 
the floor of that channel, the recent swing low for the stock, so that was around the $96 level. But the key here now is the 50-day line, around $114. That's rising now and above that. We're looking for the top of that rising trend channel from September, as high as $157, hopefully by the end of next month, given the way that we've once again had a bear trap gap reversal from below the old January support area around 102. Another massive climber coming up, and uh, here charting almost going out the window, but we do have something to uh, hang a hat on. The first thing is basically that uh, we have a broadening triangle base or broadening, broadening triangle on the daily chart. Top of that triangle heading was heading towards $5.40. Uh, in terms of support, the old neckline resistance, uh, September, October resistance, around $2.30, and that's the level that we really need to hold on any retracement from yesterday's wild spike through $9. But uh, above the uh, old neckline res uh, resistance, 230, looking for potentially 550 or so again on Millennium Group. Uh, an old favorite here, one of our most frequent flyers coming up next, uh, Marathon Digital. And uh, here you can see a typical pattern of uh, February to date with uh, gaps higher and a very sharply rising 50-day moving average, rising trend channel there from back in July. And uh, the view at the moment is that uh, the longer we stay above the latest gap there, around uh, $21.80, the greater the chance of moving to $36, hopefully by the end of uh, next month or even sooner, given the current rate of progress. Uh, another stock which has come in favor over the recent past is MicroStrategy, and uh, here almost identi identical to the chart of um, uh, Marathon in the sense we've got a rising trend channel, but we've uh, gapped up and then uh, we've uh, got a rising 50 day line. The uh, top of the channel there up towards uh, the uh, $777 area. Looking for that by the end of this month, while we hold above uh, the floor of the old gap there from back in January around $667. On to the last few. First one is uh, Palantir, which uh, has done uh, quite a lot of work in the recent past in terms of uh, the breakout, made the breakout um, last week and uh, above $22, looking for the shares to head as high as uh, $28 by the end of this month, which I think hopefully will not be too much of a stretch. A uh, stock which has moved massively here in London, it's normally the other way around, but um, massively here in London is Renalytics. And uh, you can see that um, uh, the shares have managed to uh, break recent neckline resistance around the uh, $0.64 cents area and close above the old resistance on the way down around uh, the $1.15 level. The longer we stay above that, the greater the, move, the, greater the chance of an extra move up towards the $3.80 level, which is the top of that broadening triangle from back in August. At this stage, only back below that uh, old gap top there at uh, around $0.84 cents really uh, suggests that this is a uh, flash in the pan rally for the shares. Moving along to uh, the last contender, and it comes in the form of um, Super Micro Computer, which seems to be doing an NVIDIA at the moment uh, here. You can see that we've got that wide rising trend channel, top of the channel heading towards $900, and we're looking for that um, as soon as the end of next month or even sooner, obviously once the shares perhaps cool off. Old resistance on the way up around the $7 mark, and uh, that's about as tight as we can get it in terms of a potential stop loss ahead of a move towards $900. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow.